Monday, September 27th. Uh, we got an exciting new shipment of goods in today, and we're about to shrink wrap them and get them out on the shelves for purchasing. But while we don't have them shrink wrap, we thought we'd share the goodies inside with you. First off, we'd like to talk about the TAC of 116 scale Weasel Mark 20. This is a follow up to their Weasel with the tow missile, the anti tank missile launcher on it. This is the uh, 20 millimeter uh, auto cannon on it. So these worked in tandem with the tow missile one. Uh, one was for uh, infantry and one was for armor. So they kind of backed each other up. The cool thing is it's in 1 16th scale, but because of the size of the actual vehicle, it makes a very small but very detailed model. It's got really some really nice fine detailing. That mesh is right in there. You can tell like the size of the figure. There's the components to make the figure. So it's a pretty large figure versus a pretty small, you know, vehicle. Kind of reminds you of those old Antos vehicles the United States developed for Vietnam. As you would expect, there's oodles of parts, individual track links with the pins and the side, the side clips and all whatnot. Really fine looking detail in this kit. Should be a lot of fun to build. It will be an impressive model. We have photo etch detail. We have a nice comprehensive decal sheet. And, you know, as is the case of most modern models, a very nice looking uh, instruction booklet. So that's the Weasel. Now another highly anticipated model from Border Models this time was the Messerschmitt BF109G6. Now the neat thing about this kit is it's in 135th scale. Most aircraft run in the 132nd scale, but this one was designed specially for people that build armor if they want to make a diorama using this thing. Oh, wait, what is this? It's a mystery package. Now, why would they do that? Let's look at the box. Ah, the box says you could get one of several figures, or a seatbelt photo etch, or a rocket, or a metal propeller. Now, when they hyped this kit originally, I thought the metal propeller was going to be standard, but apparently it's a mystery option that may or may not come in your kit. So they had a little suspense to it. For some reason, they like that kind of thing in, in the East, and it, it makes its way over here. So we have the mystery package, and we have a model. The way it's broken down with lots of detail and whatnot, and there's some clear cowling parts, they really want to show off interior stuff, you know, all kinds of goodies. And this, I think this kit was designed also to, you know, like if you want to make a diorama with your armor, with your figures, um, have it being transported like on a dragon wagon or some kind of, you know, carrying vehicle. There's some pretty, pretty fine molding detail on this kit. So it's very interesting that they just delved into that scale. I understand the next uh, release is going to be a JU-87 Stuka which should also be popular. Again, comprehensive decals, a little bit of photo etch detail, and uh, looks like a really nice instruction booklet. So kudos to them, being adventurous, not just cranking out more of the same, as it were. A new Spitfire or a new Messerschmitt every six months, nah. From our friends at Ming, we have the scaled down GT40 in 124 scale. The big uh, 112 scale kit was very popular and uh, this is a scaled down version. We need a knife. This kit has tape seals on it. Alrighty. So we open her up and what do we find? Uh, a contest of some sort. That's kind of neat. QR codes and that. Win cash prizes. That may be why it was sealed, so nobody would steal this. Breaks down like the real GT40. Rubber tires. Body pan, interior. Looks like some pretty nice molding here. Seats. I believe this is something of a curbside. I don't see... Well, there's some representative engine details, so no, no. There's enough engine to make it interesting. The exhaust, you know, no, I, I stand corrected. It's not a curbside. It's nicely folded. I don't see a lot of flash and seam marks. I mean, you'd really have to get in there, but cursory inspection, I don't see a lot of cleanup having to be done except where you remove it from the spruce. 
And as we come to expect, a very nice looking decal sheet with many car options. And it looks like a good instruction booklet underneath as well. Window mouse, photo etched screens for the rear. Nice touch. And another good looking instruction book. So this should prove to be a popular kit. Kind of reminds you of a Tamiya offering and it's priced in about the same kind of range, but the GT40 is a very popular car from all manufacturers. So this should prove to be a, a hit with modelers. And don't forget, there's the contest entry. And finally today, we received another version of a border model Panzer IV. This is a command tank, pronounce, I, I won't pronounce it, but it looks like Beobwig. I think that's a command tank. You can see there's lots of antenna and so forth on. Comes with the commander and infantry figure in it. Um, their armor releases have proven to be very popular, very nicely detailed. Again, you don't see a lot of flash and seams to clean up, but lots of minute, well-detailed parts. Individual tracks and length, length and link track. Oodles of small parts. I see photo etch and a metal barrel peeking down there. And as well as a decal sheet. There's some clear parts, I guess, for the periscopes and stuff on the cupolas. Looks like a flying thing for Panzer fans. And of course, another nicely laid out instruction booklet. I think we have Wingnut Wings to thank for bringing up the standard of instruction booklets and kits. Because they set the bar very high. And I see a lot of companies are doing better effort on their instructions. So there we have it, today's arrivals. As soon as we get these shrink wrapped and processed, we'll have them out for sale and up on our website. If you haven't been to our store, we're only hard to find once. To find us, just say, hey Google, find me the Hobby Center in Ottawa. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. We'll see you again.